use place value to add, lesson 8.7. We can model tens and ones to help us add two digit numbers. We add the ones, we add the tens, we put them together for a sum. There's 40 red flowers, 23 yellow flowers, how many flowers in all? We're adding a two digit number to another two digit number. There's 40 red flowers, 23 yellow flowers. We make four tens for the 40 red flowers. We make two tens and three ones for the 23 yellow flowers. We can add the 40 plus the 23. We have four tens and zero ones plus two tens and three ones. We add the ones, zero plus three is three. We add the tens, four plus two is six. We have six tens and three ones. That's equal to 63. We added the zero and the three, which equals three. We added the four plus the two, which is a six. We have 63. We can use tens and ones to add. We have 27 plus 14. Here's our problem. We have two tens and seven ones, and we're adding one ten and four ones. We stack them on top of each other, the ones on top of the ones, the tens on top of the tens. We add the seven ones and the four ones, and we get 11 ones. We add the two tens and the one ten and get three tens. Three tens are 30. We add it to our 11 ones, it equals 41. 27 plus 14 is equal to 41. Let's try it again. We have 43 plus 39. We have four tens and three ones and we're adding three tens and nine ones. We stack the tens on top of each other and the ones on top of each other. We add the ones. Nine plus three is nine, 10, 11, 12. We have 12 ones. We add the tens. Four plus three is seven. We have seven tens and 12 ones. That's 70 plus 12 more is equal to 82. 43 plus 39 is equal to 82. We keep the ones in the ones place and the tens in the tens place. See? Let's try it again. We have 54 plus 26. We have five tens and four ones. Five tens and four ones. We have two tens and six ones. Here's our two tens and our six ones. We put the ones on top of each other, the tens on top of each other. We add the ones. Four plus six is equal to 10. We have 10 ones. Five plus two is equal to seven. We have seven tens. Seven tens are 70. We have our 10 ones. 70 plus 10 is equal to 80. That means 54 plus 26 is equal to 80. Put the zero in the ones column and the eight in the tens place. See? Let's try it one more time. We have 26 plus 62. We have two tens and six ones, and we're adding six tens and two ones. We stack the ones and tens on top of each other. Six plus two is equal to eight ones. Two plus six is equal to eight tens. We have Eight tens, that's 80, and eight ones, that's an eight. Eight plus the 80 together makes 88. 26 plus 62 is equal to 88. Let's try another one. Tala has 39 gems. Emma has 22 gems. How many do they have in all? We look for our clue words in all right here means we need to add. This is going to be an addition problem. 
we have 39 plus 22. We have three tens and nine ones, and we're adding it to two tens and two ones. We stack the ones and the tens. Nine plus two is equal to 11 ones. Three tens plus two tens are five tens. Five tens makes 50. We have our 11 ones, we add them together, and it is equal to 61. That means 39 plus 22 is equal to 61. Let's try one last one. We have 68 plus 14. We have six tens and eight ones, and we're adding it to one ten and four ones. We add all the ones, 8 plus 4 are 12. We have 12 ones. 6 tens plus 1 ten makes 7 tens. We have 7 tens. There's a 10 here in the ones, isn't there? There's 1 ten and 2 ones. That means we have 7 tens from this one. We have another 10 from the 12 and 2 left over. 7 tens plus 1 ten makes 8 tens. We have 8 tens and 2 ones. We have 80 plus 2 more is equal to 82. That means 68 plus 14 is equal to 82. We counted up all the ones, we regrouped them and made a 10, and we added it to the other 10s that we had, and it equals 82. Now we're going to learn what's called carrying over or regrouping. We carry over to regroup. We're going to learn that in second grade. Our next lesson is problem solving addition word problems, lesson 8.8. .8. If you'd like to know about doing addition problems where we regroup the tens into a tens place value for second grade, you can check out my second grade math playlist. And I'll have a link in this video's description about doing regrouping with carrying over. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.